Okay, hello students. Remember, this is our final and third video for this sea form sculptures that is inspired by Jay Asher's Message in a Bottle and Dale Chihuly's Sea Forms. Okay, so the last two videos we put together our sea, we, we cut apart our two sea bottles, two, um, sorry, plastic water bottles, a mylar sheet, and a upcycled plastic um, salad container, right? We punched holes, then we used two zip ties to tie everything together. Then the last video, we used acrylic paint to paint and add color. Now, before the paint had dried, you can either use glitter or sand and sprinkle just a little bit, just a little small little pinch or a little handful to just give it a little more texture and dimension and translucent and look, okay? So I'm using a heat gun, which the teacher will go around with the heat gun because this is not for you. I'm allowing the heat gun to heat up. Sorry about the noise, guys. Okay, so I'm allowing this heat gun to heat up so that while the air is blowing on our sea form, the bottle, see the bottle pieces are starting to, to melt. You can use your scissors, well, or the teacher can use the scissors and help to, you know, manipulate the direction of where and how these pieces are going to, you know, melt. The whole point is to make it look more organic. And as you can see, this is really hot. This is nothing to, to play with. Okay. You can even do that to the bottom part. And that's it. And that's it. As you can see, it looks more flowing like it's flowing under the water. Okay? And that's it. This is your sea forms. If you want, you can come in with spray paint, add a little more color, a little more um, iridescent or, or more metallics. It's up to you. But other than that, if you have wood pieces or any that type of elements that you found or seashells you can probably hot glue them towards the bottom or around whatever but this is it thank you